it away. We'll join together as one. We'll succeed as one community with one mind. We'll conquer our goals. The Hispanics. This was not put together by a group of professional promoters, nor was, it, was this done as a for-profit event. This project was born and seen to, to fruition by a great individual by the name of Dubi Honig. <laughs> Dubi is a man who had a vision and the desire to help as many individuals, families, and businesses as possible. Mr. David Honig, you are a beacon of light in this very dark economic chapter in U.S. history. Thank you very much for all that you do, and we hope that your efforts continue, and we hope that other states and other individuals hook up with you and continue, continue your efforts so that people around the United States can be helped as well, not just the state of New Jersey. The first thing you need to do is take out a pen, because the governor of the state of New Jersey has asked me to cut through red tape, and I started one day the effort of cutting through red tape in New Jersey by giving out my email address. Now, I don't want you to write this down. I'm making a point. You put me in charge of cutting through red tape, and then you give me an email address like this, lt.governor at gov.state.nj.us. Total waste of time and energy. Sends exactly the wrong message to you about red tape. I decided that a much better way to cut through red tape was to give you my cell phone number. When I received a text message from the number two elected official in our great state at 11.25 p.m. telling me that she was in the midst of reviewing our phone. I don't remember that. Okay, 11.25 p.m. I got a text that she was reviewing the floor plan for the Parnassa Expo a few months ago. We all know of politicians who believe that briefly showing up for the ceremonies and joining the photo app earns them credit. All of us at Parnassa Network can attest that Lieutenant Governor not only generously gave up her time to participate today and deliver a great keynote address, but was with us beyond, behind the scenes over the past few months, every step of the way. Presented to the Honorable Kevin Cummings, President and CEO of Investors Bank for your participation in the nationwide Panos Expo and business networking event. You are at the heart of the bank with a heart, and your myriad efforts on behalf of our community are immensely appreciated. Tuvioni Panos Expo business networking event, February 12, 2013. survive this but you know what's gonna happen we're gonna get on top again and, and I'm gonna be hiring people based on grade point averages of experience and blah 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 I'm not looking for that anymore I want people that can survive cycles I want people that I can trust that when the, the we were hit recession, recession again they're gonna be sure we're gonna be even better for it 
I said, okay, good luck. He goes, oh, no, 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 no. He goes, I want you to find them for me. I said, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, so I only want to find one thing in my bed. So he says to me, I want you to figure out what are the skills that I need to find in people that are recession-proof. Now, what that did for my career was that totally took it for a curve. So at that point, I was a lawyer for many years. I was in-house in that company. And from that moment, I became obsessed with the skills that you need to be successful. Because success is not an outcome. Success is not made by someone who has the right parents or the right situation or the economy's up, the economy's down. That's not it. There are people that are able to achieve a level of success in business and in life regardless of the circumstances. But what are those principles? How do they work? And since then, I've been there for, I, went, I was in the company for two years. I started a new company um, a few years ago. I have two one of my wonderful partners. There's one of them in the room right now, Alan Wexelbaum's here. The company's called H3. It's an investment advisory firm. One is, uh, is Chesky Kaftel, who is uh, the chairman of the company as well. And what we do is we invest in people and in ideas that exemplify these principles. Because when you show up and you have a good idea, big deal. Do you have the principles that it takes to become successful? And from there, I went to Yeshiva University, and I teach in their business school, in Sizem School of Business, and we launched a center called the Center of Business and Jewish Wisdom, where we study this. We study who are, who's out there achieving success and why, not just because. What do they have? What are the principles? What are the skills they have that enable them to be successful no matter what's going on in the world? I have the privilege today of standing next to two very important people, Colin Fishman, a very, very astute, knowledgeable real estate investor, funder, and you're me a reader, Satsadi Gisadailo. We've been very busy today, where we've been spending a lot of time speaking and explaining real estate opportunities, we're speaking about various subjects, but we've been seeing a tremendous demand of people with questions. People who came out here and we've been answering their questions. And their questions are how to get panasa, how to get self-sufficient, how to stand on their own two feet. Baruch Hashem, we've gotten a number of people jobs today. Funny that a number of people, we're in real estate, and a number of people coming from other things, and I keep walking over to the job area. We're in the matzah that more employers have come than people looking for jobs. So we're trying to match up people with the jobs. Baruch Hashem, there's a tremendous, uh, everyone is helping. You see on the side, it's, it's like David Amelo says, each person is helping. Wherever you go in a corner, you see there's somebody saying, I heard you're looking for a job. I heard down the other end, there is a job available. People who want to get into real estate, Kalman has been absolutely fantastic. So hear me giving away their trade secrets, how what they developed over the years to help other Yidna Panas. I may be the moderator, but I only shine because of them. Because they are the people on the battle line in real estate and the doing the shame shmayim to help the fellow Yidna to get in on the job. I can't tell you what a covet it is for me to be on my right and my left of two people who are probably the busiest men in real estate to give their time which the Rambam says is one of the biggest things you can give to help other Eden get the jobs. And that's what we're doing today. The questions are going unabated. Look at these resumes, piles of resumes that are coming in. And as I look at them, I tell Yirmiya, maybe we can get it to this guy, maybe we can get to that guy. Yirmiya is coming up with ideas. Kalman has taken a number of emails from people who are gonna to respond tomorrow that he can try to find. I keep going over Kalman, can we help him? So what does he do? I said this, I think, I, let me see more, get the resumes. So please do not think that today is the end. Today is the beginning of trying to help more people. We need the ability to have more platforms where you can come together. The achdus that we see here today is a bracha of Kiddush Shem Shemayim. And because it's a bracha of Kiddush Shem Shemayim, we will be matzliyah to help many, many people. Thank you. Love it to happen like New Jersey. I'm just totally blown away at this amazing expo. My friend Yossi Weiss is here. He's the best. Yoli Weiss, Yossi Weiss. It's all the same thing. We are just flabbergasted by what's going on in this place. Dovi, you're the best. We love you. Slacha. Hello. The expo has been amazing. It's really surpassed the initial expectations and um, 
Uh, we thought it would be a good idea, but Hashem, the people have turned out in droves. The vendors, we've actually, uh, I've personally spoken to so many of them, who have basically said that they're ready to sign up for next year right now. I've met so many people that have gotten jobs, or at least access to new jobs, and um, um, just basically the feeling has been such a heimish, welcoming kind of networking event that uh, Bliana has never done before. I got to give kudos to Duvi for being the uh, locomotive, unstoppable uh, locomotive behind this thing. And um, and everybody else that helped out. And uh, we hope to match Hashem next year. And during the year, we're going to work on different things on the web through barnasanetwork.com to continue doing some programs. Um, but this was really, I think, an eye-opener for everybody that was here about how important this is in college for the behind the ship kosher place. I personally am going to do deals with at least four or five people here that I've never met otherwise, and I'm happy that they're doing this business with Goyim, and I'm going to do it with Eden from now on. So, Givaldi, we we'll look forward to seeing everybody next time. Okay. Tell us about how, how amazing 1880 is. Well, Jack had a vision serve the community good wholesome food and he asked me to come and put this together for him and we did it as a great joint adventure with his partner Yitzi and uh, here we are. What item went the best? What did people buy the most? I think today the grilled chicken Caesar and the salmon with pasta salad was actually a hit. That's not pastrami sandwich. Pastrami, very very lean but we make it in house. I see it's a lot of guys. You can have enough food for everyone? Sure, sure. Hopefully within the next half hour to an hour we blow it all out of here. You know, we're going to try and give, give a little bit better value as we get closer to the end and start lowering our prices. Hey, what, what do you recommend we should buy? I would suggest the uh, hearty lean turkey. So can I have that. a party lean turkey? <laughs> the expo has been uh, quite a success so far. A lot of people have been going around to the many booths. Um, I personally have received uh, many requests uh, for help with the construction. but. Uh, there have been thousands of people here, and uh, I hope everybody is my slave for whatever they're looking for. Hello, Shia Rubenstein here, and it's wonderful to be at the Parnassa Expo today. It's amazing to see thousands of different people from Nainara coming together to help each other in the business to business part of things, as well as finding a job. I just spoke at one of my, uh, just gave a presentation, wonderful crowd, wonderful and questions and answers. Change the world.